Okay, let's define demand, revenue, and profit. I know a bunch of definitions in this section, getting you under, to understand business applications a little bit better. So when we talk about demand function, all this is is a relationship between price P and quantity Q. Now these can be a little bit confusing. Um, so the price that we're charging and the quantity that we're selling or that's being demanded. So these can be used in a couple different contexts. All you have to know is this is a function that connects together price and quantity. Sometimes price is on one side by itself. Sometimes quantity Q is on one side by itself. You'll just have to use the context of the problem to figure out which one's which. But remember, if it connects price and quantity together, that's our demand function. Next up, a definition, we have revenue. Now, revenue means the total amount of money that you're bringing in. All right. Um, it doesn't mean how much you get to take home with you, though. All right. For if you're selling some item, it's the total money amount of money that you're actually bringing in. Now, the amount of money that you actually get to take home with you, sometimes we refer to that as being profit. All right. Profit is after you bring all that money in, the total revenue, after you subtract away all those costs, and these could be both fixed and variable costs, but all the money you bring in minus all the costs that you have to pay out, what's left over, that's going to be called profit. And our book uses total profit, TP, is equal to total revenue minus total costs. So you've got to be a little bit careful as you're setting these up, but it's usually not a horrible concept. Where students get this wrong is they think revenue is all the money you get to take home. It's not really, that's profit. So understand the difference between these two and you should be okay.